Caroline's going for her first ever ice bath. Do you want an ice bath? Don't think so. Bubby's first ever ice bath. Out with Gordon again, this time up Snowdon. This is our third attempt at doing Snowdon. The last two times we turned back because of bad conditions. Remember, when you reach the top, you're only halfway. Show that to Nicola. There's some skiers over there. Things are getting serious now. Putting on the running spikes. Bikes to the test. Pretty good actually. Coming back for the camera is tiring. Oh, that was a very good day up the hills. Legs felt a bit tired today, but still making fitness gains. Slowly. I am a rubbish runner. No. I'm not rubbish, I'm just slow, and I've just never been able to fathom the concept of being able to run fast. It's just never worked for me. My fastest marathon is four and a half hours, although I was wearing a scout badge. But still, I've just never run quickly. I need to run quickly. Well, no, I don't need to run quickly, I just need to run quicker. But I, honestly, with all the training I did, I was just getting knackered. Until I read this book. This is a very good book. It's written by the amazing Shane Benzie. So I went on Instagram and I messaged Shane and I said, please fix my running. And he amazingly replied and said, absolutely mate, you say where and when. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> good to well. see you mate. Yeah, very good. A man after my own heart. Probably talk more about Land Rovers than running today. Warm up first, so I have a good technique. A bit icy though. Like my luck, I'm gonna fall and twist an ankle. Right, what am I doing now? So I'm gonna get you running up and down and get you running at some different speeds. You have more than slow, one speed. <laughs> slow and slower. I'm sure, we could squeeze a medium out of it. <laughs> and we'll video that from the side, from the back, from the front. Yep, those two different speeds. position 
it's just it's just Wrong. changed. Yeah. yeah, the bow is now not really there so much. Good, bad. The moment you went into this slow speed, mm. it was almost as if you were more shuffly yeah. than, than running. Yeah, so I need to learn how to be bouncy and dynamic. On this second run, at that slower pace, now we are getting that posture. We've got that head position right and we've got that bow right. And because even though we're still running slow, we're still thinking about that push off, that is giving you just enough air and enough time to get that leg back underneath you. And of course, what that's done is stuck a few centimeters on your stride as well. Take that data and turn it into a curve. Now I spent four hours with Shane, running up and down, going inside, working out what I've done wrong, trying to change it, going back outside, and various sort of things. And I learnt a lot. In fact, so much I haven't really absorbed it all. But one particular thing that really stood out, when we run, we push off with one leg, and we fly in the air for a bit, and we land in the other. So I push off here, I'm in the air, and I land there. Now, the idea, and this is really simplifying things, Shane explains it way better, is for the same amount of energy, I'm trying to get a little bit further. Now, even two centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters, that would be amazing. What I'm doing, I'm using all my energy just to go up and down. So my graph looks a little bit like this. That's quite exaggerated, of course but that's what I need to work on. And he's given me some amazing tips on how to lengthen my stride with the same energy. There was a point where I was getting a nice long curve, but then my heart rate was way too high and the energy sacrifice was just too much. So there is a sweet spot and everyone's curve is different, but my goal now is to try and get as efficient as possible to just get a few centimeters on my stride without jumping too high in the air. Really good. Thanks so much. Good day. Well, yeah. just a start, really, I guess, isn't it? That was such an incredible experience. I think I need to read Shane's book again because there was so much information. The other thing, other than trying to extend my curve, the one thing I was doing was actually just running too slowly. It's just ingrained in me to run long and slow. The three big runs I've done in my life is a thousand miles length of Britain, 820 miles part of my world's longest triathlon, and then I ran across Iceland and other really long runs. I've never actually run fast. I've never done any short races. I've never done a 5k. I've never done a 10k. And I think that's been my problem. My muscle memory, as it were, just keeps running slowly. And then when I'm running so slowly, all I'm using is my muscles, which sap oxygen. Whereas if I speed myself up a little bit, I actually use less energy and run a bit quicker. Today's the day that I vow to do no more plodding. <laughs> oh, good luck with that, Sean. <laughs>